very interesting to hear what uh, Carol just said about uh, Russians wanting to believe in this message, let's make Russia great again, it's not so good to be there. All right. Um, I guess I'm the uh, most Russian hand among these uh, Russian hands today. Um, Carol spoke about uh, Putin as um, a strong leader, or at least this this image of him as a strong leader. And um, I, I would like to remind uh, how this image emerged. Um, Putin's history in power is the history of uh, terrorist attacks and catastrophes. And with, in response of every terrorist attack and every such event, a little bit of liberties was taken away from Russian people. Um, Putin's story started before he became the president. Uh, in uh, 1999, uh, with, uh, with bombings in uh, um, Russian uh, apartment buildings. Uh, many of you will remember that this happened in Donetsk, Moscow, and uh, Volgodonsk. Um, back then, almost 300 people were killed in, in those bombings. All those bombings were, of course, blamed on uh, Chechen separatists, even though uh, the suspected involvement of KGB was openly discussed even in Russian media, which is, which sounds unbelievable right now that this kind of topic can be discussed on television publicly. Um, then came, uh, then came uh, the famous statement by Russian President Itzhak. Uh, he, of course, was uh, referring to a nuclear-powered submarine Kursk, uh, which sank in uh, May of 2000. Uh, and uh, uh, into the, in the year 2000, in August, I think it was, in August, yes. And uh, again, it was all over the media, it was all over uh, Russian um, TV networks, in the papers. Uh, Putin went to visit um, the families of uh, Navy officers who died there in, in that submarine, and the, the whole country would see the horrible conditions in which those families lived. And, uh, people saw these crying women, and Putin was embarrassed. Mm -hmm. And now we know that he is a very thin-skinned person. He cannot tolerate being embarrassed. Uh, the payback came, you know, quite soon afterwards. Uh, um, the um, power, uh, I mean, the management was changed on one of the networks where I used to work on NTV Russian television quite swiftly and very soon after uh, Kursk disaster. Uh, the new management was installed which um, led to a lot of journalists leaving the network and trying to create new networks, uh, TV6 and TVS, which were also subsequently shut down by the government under economic pretenses, um, very much saying that the companies were not successful, they are not, you know, they cannot sustain themselves. Um, and uh, the history of uh, those uh, terrorist attacks continues um, with the siege of uh, uh, the theater in 2002, uh, uh, the nord siege, so-called nord siege. Um, then, uh, that, that siege was covered live on Russian TV networks, including NTV, with the new management, which was already more loyal to Putin, but I guess was more loyal to Russian public than to Putin. So there was this live coverage of this tragic event, which, which the Kremlin, of course, didn't like. So the management changed again at NTV. NTV became uh, very much loyal to the Kremlin. Um, and such, we pretty much lost um, the last uh, viable uh, TV network that would report independently on Russian events. Um, there was this, you know, very short moment of certain thaw, you know, when Medvedev was uh, uh, warming the seat for the uh, for, for, for Putin and the Kremlin for four years. Uh, a lot of us thought that this could lead to something better, that Putin will not come back in four years, it's just too obvious, you know, we all see that, you know, that that just leads to, you know, president for life kind of uh, situation. 
And uh, yet, uh, nevertheless, he came back and uh, the second coming of Putin started with the preparations for the Sochi Olympics. Um, and that subject became, the preparation for the Sochi Olympics became somewhat of um, a story that no one could criticize, uh, a project that no one could criticize, even though uh, the uh, uh, property was seized uh, illegally from people who owned little hotels or restaurants on the sea coast um, in order to build stadiums and highways. Um, it wasn't even a domain situation. People's houses were just bulldozed overnight. Uh, so this was not something that was not allowed to uh, be discussed or uh, reported upon. Uh, all for this beautiful event, the Sochi Olympics, that was supposed to show new face of Russia, new face of Putin, um, which of course uh, didn't work quite well since uh, the war in Ukraine and uh, the siege of Crimea, I mean the, uh, uh, the grab of Crimea happened pretty much uh, the same year. Um, so what's happening in Russia right now is that uh, Russian public the people who, people over 40, snap back to the very familiar behavior, uh, something that they remember from the Soviet Union. Uh, we have to be patriotic, we have to trust the government, um, everybody outside of the, outside forces are all against us, um, we have to fight, we have to support the government. Younger people, of course, do not rely on, um, on, on TV. A lot of people don't even have televisions. Uh, they follow the news on the internet. Um, and the thing with the younger generation is that uh, they, in my view, are very cynical. They don't want to make their country better. They may want to make their personal situation better. They're trying to find better employment. Uh, and there is nothing really to criticize there, except uh, I don't see that there will be another large, you know, street protest in Russia anytime soon, like there were um, after uh, the, uh, you know, famous Duma elections uh, a couple of years ago. Um, and younger Russians are terrified of the new Iron Curtain, and they know where this Iron Curtain can be coming, and the coming of that Iron Curtain will be orchestrated not by the West, but by their own government. Um, so a lot of young Russians are looking for the possibilities to escape, but this wouldn't be the same escape as for, you know, the Russians who came uh, to uh, the West in the 60s and the 70s and in the 80s. They want to be comfortable when they move <coughs> to the West. So this, 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 is, this would be an escape of uh, very cynical people 